All right, guys, what's up? Sarah Safari here um, with Bradley Martin, another episode of Mommy and Daddy Talk. Today, we have a very special guest. I'm super excited to have Steiny on. Steiny. Thank you guys so much. Thank you um, so for coming excited. on. He was supposed to be here last week, but, you know, yeah, he emergency. Yeah, yeah. You flaked last Things week, but you're here up. this week. Yeah. Huh? You flaked last week, but you're here this week. I'm here this week, bro. I Dude, always show up for you, you I, I love, I love that you're on, man. Yeah. Yeah, wait, where's the inspiration behind Mommy and Daddy? Um... And which one of you is mommy? Well, that's a kind well, that's, of a rhetorical. It's opinion. obvious. It's Brad. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the daddy. What the f is going on right no, now? No, sorry. I thought this was curious. rhetorical. You knew who the f daddy was. No, I know. No, but yeah. we thought. So I was you. just messing around with this name. I feel like I'm daddy. <laughs> okay. Bro. You I kinda, would love to be daddy. I kind of want to son you on your own pod. <laughs> you would love to be daddy, dude. Yeah. No, no this would. episode is mommy and daddy with son talk. Oh, okay. You're the son. Okay. Well, so so tell them tell where the inspiration came from. Okay, so this Wait, name. Can I get some milk for mommy? Okay. Okay. That was insane. <laughs> this is <laughs> already starting off well, with I'm, the fire. I'm clip. trying to play my role as the son. Okay. I, you don't tell well, me to be the son. You're my you're, mom. You're 24 I years know, old. But, no, he's like 27. 27 years old. Why would you Whatever. want milk? I still like milk. Yeah, but yeah, but we moved it's on. Good calcium. That. Daddy will go get it from the grocery we've store. We moved on from that. <laughs> I want it from mommy. But okay, fine. adult levels. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, I was just spitballing names at the gym one day, and I said this, and Brad really liked it. Yeah. I okay. thought it was amazing. No, I like it. It's great. good. It's different too. You guys like now that I look at you though, you kind of gave me like parent vibes with this setup. Why? Because we got couches. And you no, have... but I could just see you guys being happy one day. I think. No. <laughs> well, we'll be happy one day, but not with each but other. But with each other. Why no, not? Not with each other. That's hilarious. Why, Steady, why did... you know us well enough off camera to know that this dynamic would never like transpire. Yeah. No, I know it wouldn't. But it just yeah. it kind of looks good. Like, if you guys How? sent me a Christmas card I, and with your dogs, it would make sense. <laughs> she doesn't have dogs. She has cats. That's but how yours, I know it couldn't work. Uh, I'm a cat person. No, you are? Yeah. How many? Two. That's how I know it couldn't work. I'm a cat mom. Yeah. What are their names? Lupita and Ocean. That's so That kind of makes sense. Why? It does make sense. Chicks with cats, like, don't fuck. Yeah. Like, and they're, like, kind of weird. They don't cook either because they just, they like, just They're just weird. Like, yeah, what kind of they, life do they, they live? They throw, like, the little the cat food and they're like, I don't want to deal with the cat. No, no, my cat sleeps with me every night, sleeps on my chest. Really? Yeah, but like what do cat people do like at home? I hang out with my cat. Oh, exactly. that sounds so lame. Yeah. Why? I don't that's know. That's what you do though. Yeah, that's what I do. I hang out with my family and my cats and that's about it. But like what do you do? Like do you like game or do anything like that? No, but I want to start gaming. What do you do in your free time? Go to the gym. Smoke. <laughs> what smoke. Okay. smoke. Go to, okay, I go, what do you I go, really do in your free time? Uh because Jim, we know that's like... That's Honestly, yeah, I've been playing Fortnite lately. A really? Lot. Yeah. Why don't you just start streaming Because the OG maps. You really... So you've been actually getting into that like 100% off camera, getting into Fortnite? I I mean, I used to play it during COVID and then like... Yeah. People have just been hitting me up like... Like I have, I have Fortnite homies. You guys... Do you have those? They're I, all like... Dude. You have that one guy that... <laughs> Um, fat Anakin or fat what? Anakin, yeah. You well, definitely, I've, you've never played with one kid that was like, or a, or a dude that was like insanely sick, and then you're like, yo, I have to. <laughs> no, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to play with a guy who's really good. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, it's funny. I heard you were playing Fortnite with uh, I'll Selena. play with Selena, yeah. So yeah. Steve, That's what Steve was saying. Yeah. Are you trying to slide? Yeah. What the? Fuck? No, she just is fun to play with. She, but she's not the homie that's good though that you just described. She's not. No, good. she's like, really good at gaming. She's not good. She's like, like a that, medic. Though. Like she carries my. My half shields when I get down. I take care of all the f***ing enemies, bro. I, I thought you just build boxes. I heard that you were just building boxes around yourself. Like, you weren't really good at aiming. A box up, yeah. But Steve said you weren't good at actually aiming. No, my accuracy is really low. <laughs> so Aww. what are you doing, man? Just spray the f*** out of them, dude. And then you oh, drop okay. next game when I die. Who's your actual homie who's good? Uh, I do have we've never met. Friends. Damn, so it's like a cross-country thing? Yeah. I do have I do have homies like that, too. Yeah. That's like some real, that's some like real gamer shit. Bro, I got to tell you guys this story and I swear to God, this is 100% true. And it really kind of freaked me out. It's the weirdest thing. So I played, uh, I played duos the other day with some random dude. And I kept hearing screaming in the background, like a woman screaming. And I was like, yo, dude, do you think you could turn your shit down a little bit? He's like, yeah, yeah, sorry, my bad. And then like five minutes later, <laughs> it no keeps, I swear, I dude, He's I not swear, lying. I can't even make this up. Keep it's going, so weird. Keep going. And, uh. It keeps. I keep hearing the screaming. I'm like, "Yo, bro, what what the fuck is going on back there?" And you know what he tells me? He's watching. He goes, "He goes, yo, dude, I'm sorry, I'm on Reddit right now watching exorcisms." And I was like, "Yo, bro, what the fuck?" And I was like, "Yo, is that like normal?" And he's like, "Dude, I'm really sorry." And I had to leave the game. It was the weirdest thing I've ever experienced. 
Dude, that's kind of sick. That's like what twisted. The is that not fucking? That's so creepy. I reported him and shit. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> like, I didn't, I, bro, I was really freaked out in the moment. Where the f do you watch exorcisms? On Reddit. He's like, don't act like you don't watch them in your free time. I'm, You're the type of guy I, to watch but them. He was so, I would find them. He if was I could so, find he was, I, I'm listening to it too because it's so loud. What was the, what was, the, what was the girl saying or the person she saying? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I feel I mean, like you're kind of trolling. No, he's not trolling. Maybe he was watching the movie, but it sounded like he was watching a real one. I think. Well, off Reddit. I don't know, but it was fucking. Don't, I don't play. Let's just say I don't play with that kid anymore. Yeah, that's was, was that one of your homies? Couldn't. No, that was not a homie. It was oh, a okay. random. He said a random. Okay. So, so I got a question for you. Personal question, man. What, what's going on like in your personal life? Are you really trying to find a girl? I don't even think I'm, I'm trying to become like Sarah, dude. Like, just not even be interested in the opposite. Like asexual. Just be asexual. Mm. Thank you. I think that that's kind of important because. Why? Because what is it when you're normal? You're homo sapien? <laughs> Dog. Yo, you're f***ing <laughs> trolling. You okay, have okay, to I'm be done. trolling. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no, but like. uh being... That's human. He's like, I'm trying to be a carnivore. No, being <laughs> just like, I don't even know, but like being asexual, like Sarah's not ever focused on any. I mean, you get into like these fake or whatever relationships all yeah. the time on the internet. But like my day to day life, I'm not focused on that. Yeah. Whether it's distractions or just being. It's just a waste of time, dude, because I'm not ready for to settle down anyway. How do you know when you're ready? That's the question. How do you know when you're ready? I, that, dude, that's that's been part of my problem. Yeah, I know. That's been part of my problem. It's kind of scary to think about, bro. What, like settling down and picking, so picking someone? So, Steiny, what are the qualities you look for in a woman that you actually want to settle down with? Not that you just want to have fun with for a few weeks or whatever. A woman that you're actually going to marry, what qualities are you looking for? I just, like, always picture, like, a Latina chick, like, just taking dinner and, like, just being so happy. And, like, when I get home from a hard day's work, she, like, puts the meal in front of me. Aww. Yeah. But she's, like, a, a hot Latina chick. From like, wearing heart. one of the aprons, but maybe, you okay. know what I mean? She looks what bad is her personality so. like? He's just a hot <laughs> He's Latina. like, hot Latina. <laughs> hot uh, Latina she's like, chick. Fat ass. No, no. He she's, doesn't care she's about She's supportive, that. sweet. Okay. And just positive. I've noticed, like, a lot of the times Latinas are very, like, happy and energetic. That they is am, true. like, honestly, like, I was thinking about me, if I ever settled down with you, like, I think the previous relationships you were in, like, they try and, like, Funny, right? Right. About being like too jacked. Yeah. But no one points out like the pros in that. What are the pros in that? It's like she like can if pick stuff up. Help I, have carry a, shit. I have an 85 inch TV in my room, which might be the biggest in Irvine, which is crazy <laughs> to have it. I'm serious. Dude, what, how, what, is... how big is yours in your bedroom? I don't know, but I have an 85 out here. Okay, but not in your bedroom. Let's say I came home with a big ass TV. <laughs> yeah. You could easily help carry that in with me. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? That is true. And like wow. if, if I came home with a desk from Ikea, you could probably handle it. Yeah. <laughs> she could probably put it together. Yeah. And so wow. people are only focusing so on the negatives. And <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Yo, no. are you just calling no, me No, no, no. Yeah, you're not. You but just like, said about but you're looking for like someone who's going to like help you carry stuff and like put together a furniture. Wants, no, it's just it's just cool to have like a stronger chick yeah, yeah, yeah. in those regards. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Thank you, Steiny. Yeah. No. What else would the stronger chick be capable of doing? Let's. Go, I want to go further into this. What, like, what else would she be doing? If they, he falls asleep in the car while I'm driving, I can carry him in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and tuck him in bed. I'm cool with that. Oh my god. I don't know. <clears throat> just like, like doing stuff like that around the house. So just like, like a team effort. Stuff. Changing a tire. You're gonna have her change a tire. If she can, your girl. Can you change a tire? No, but actually, I've been I've been watching videos on how to change my own oil. See, in my car. she could change her own fucking oil, dude. So, so like, none of the chicks that I'm going for right now can do that. I guarantee it. Yeah. Do you want your chick to be doing that kind of stuff, or wouldn't she be doing that kind of stuff? I mean, I'd probably be doing it, but I'm just what I was saying is too many people are focusing on just the cons about Sarah being. What are the cons? Strong. Just, I don't know. Like, do you think I look manly? I think you've been looking great lately, and I'm not even just saying that. I, he did call me the other day, and he was like, I was talking about it with some of my homies, and you've yeah. been looking great. Yeah. But I didn't know if you said that because, like, you wanted me to come to you the live stream. You probably was trying stream. to get something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's normally what you do. <laughs> that is There's, out, like, a loaded, That like, is out of this world you look to great, say but that. But he's smart. You he's, know why I know he's, he's smart? He's really smart. He'll do it, like, yesterday and ask you for something today. Yeah, he's really good he's, at it. You're <laughs> slick. Asking any of you for anything but friendship right now. Ladies. Right now. Ladies, Maybe. if you get with Steiny, be careful. He is a smart, smart man. Oh, Manipulative. No, yeah. man. absolutely not. 
pretty, super. Uh, where were we with the whole? Yeah, so so like the 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 real question is like why? Oh, sorry, why is yeah, you've so been looking fire? But um, thank wow. you. I think uh, I just think there's certain guys that like want more of like a uh not as strong girl. Yeah, of course that makes sense. It's like, all and about it could throw them off. Yeah. Would it throw you off? Yeah, probably. You think she's too buff for you? Yeah, I mean, it's just like if like I did beat Steiny in an arm wrestling competition in New it's, York. It's not that, but it's like if like we were like hooking up one time and like you just look over and she's right here. <laughs> and she's just stronger. I don't know. I don't know if it'd be a turn on or not. You you can handle that because you're a big motherfucker. Yeah, but I don't know. Just might not be my style. So so okay. Beyond that stuff, like why why do you think it's it's scary to choose a girl? What do you mean? Like why you haven't settled down? Because you said it was scary. Like the like picking the right girl. Oh, settling down. Yeah. Well, I just don't think I can. Just because of what you do for work. Yeah, it'll just change. I don't want to change who I am for what? a woman. Yeah, or like what yeah. I do. And I've had to deal with that where it's like I've had big podcasts or big content days or whatever that I have to get to. And like they'll bitch about it or be like, yo, I can't believe you're going to do something with this girl. And I'm like, yo, I need to do this to get paid. I'm not going to let any chick fucking get in the way of that. Stein yeah. has a point there. Yeah, Stein I, has a, I don't give a, a fuck. great point. You sell yourself out like for a for a woman when you have something going or you have a special opportunity. Like you're a fucking idiot. But I think it just takes a girl to kind of understand what you're doing and then also both of you make some compromises you know like you maybe you don't stop what you're doing or maybe you just better communicate it or you tone some things down where you can where it doesn't jeopardize your money but you know still makes her comfortable and she makes sacrifices where she's okay with some things that she wouldn't typically be okay with yeah that's, i mean it's all about compromise. it's all about compromise what, like making sacrifices Making sacrifices or like having better communication. What's or just like a big sacrifice? Meeting in the middle. Well, for you, a big sacrifice would be if a girl's like bitching at you to not go film with this other girl for you to actually not do that. That'd be a big sacrifice for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there's a way you guys could compromise with it. And... Are you actually like asexual? Yeah. I, but I, like, is that a real I, thing? I, for, <laughs> I think it is a real thing. So you just don't have an interest. I don't have any interest in like doing anything like intimate with anyone ever. That's have you said that before? Yes, I've said that before. Yeah, she's talking about when it. When I first met Bradley, I kept telling him that that was like a part of me, like a real thing. So then you're like, finally, uh, someone I can work with. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. No, like, no yes, working with her. Yes, a chick I can have on my team. <laughs> working with her for so many other reasons, not so much that part of it. That's what pretty is, cool. Like, I guess unique. Thank you. I'm probably well, not going to hit you up out of the blue anymore. No, I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> it's, for, <laughs> it's for sure less drama. Yeah, for sure. Like, even if it's not like it's not like necessarily with me, but it's just like her and her own life with people. Yeah. She's not yeah, like he doesn't have to hear filled. me like texting him about like, oh my God, like this happened the other night yeah. with this person. Most so you, of the time you talk to me about stuff, it's like other people's yeah. What, like drama? Yeah. <laughs> like tea. Nice. Like bullshit. Like, like, random not like things. people's like intimate business. It's just like, oh, this happened. It's like some, it's like never really her issues. Yeah. Got it. You know, Got it's it. like other people's bullshit. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Got nice it. just for perspective. Yeah. I was just curious too. I didn't know if that was all like true or not. I don't even know what's true anymore. Can't tell. Like on the yeah. internet and shit. Yeah. The internet's yeah, tough I'm confused right now. too. I'm bro. confused too. Are you on a dry streak right now, Steiny? Yeah. Pretty dry. But like, actually, like also like kind of by choice. By, choice, like, by yeah. the way, people, a lot of people go on dry streaks. You've gone on dry streaks, definitely. Oh, when when did that? When was you've in your life? You've never I been think, on a dry I streak. I think he's addicted to. Okay, but I'm choosing to do this too because it's a mental clarity. Yes. Oh, so it's so, not people are going to. So say, it's oh, not a dry streak. It's a choice. Choice dry streak. <laughs> like, choice I dry chose streak. to be this dry. Mm. <laughs> okay. I just like. So it's like an asexual thing, like Sarah. <laughs> yes. So I you're just, asexual. No, I'm not. Okay, so I don't know which one. I'm it is. just I'm not like interested. I'm just not right. interested in that right now. I think that because mm. uh, it's not coming to you as easy as you think. Yeah, it I'm should. on a dry streak. Steiny, do you like LA girls better or Miami girls? Miami. Oh no, you actually don't. Yeah, bro. way more. Why? They're 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 equally as shit. If we like put girls, nah, because they're they're shit, but like they're at least more fun. Like when I. I when I go out in LA, if you literally look around when you're out in LA, not one person around you is having a good time. It's they're just not. You know what I mean? There's something about being out in LA and everyone's just miserable. That is true. You kind of go out and then just notice it. No one's like dancing or fucking like having fun with their friends. Everyone's, everyone's too just cool. miserable. Too cool. And you go to Miami, everyone's having a 
fucking blast. That's why I f with it. Is it because they're all just fucking more wasted or like? No, it's because no one's worried about what's the next cool thing to go to tonight or like who's there and shit. It's like, yeah, we're all I don't just. Oh, no. You really think Miami's like that? Yeah. Seems like that's Compared both Compared to places, here, I think it's worse here. Both places seem very similar to me in that sense. We're just all just like, look at me, look what I have, and like everyone's too cool. Yeah, I don't know. I get it way worse here. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe because it's just more, more overall. Yeah. Have you ever had like an awkward situation going out with trying to like pick up a girl? Probably. <laughs> I don't really like to approach that many people at, out like that. What's your you look, approach? You're like, oh, I need a podcast? He looks I'm on them. the full send pod. Yo, Depends. your approach is let me sign you to raw gear. That's not, I don't even approach <clears throat> women. I don't huh? even approach they women. They approach you, bro, don't they? I don't approach them. What do you say? What's your go-to? I, I don't. I don't have a go-to. Has man. a chick come up to you before? I actually, have se I've seen it before. What? At the gym. Girls go up to him? Yeah. And he, like, fades them. Yeah. And then I'm like, dude, why the f*** did you get a number for the pregame? And then he always does the same face. He's like... No, he's so cocky <laughs> after. No. He always does, he does that. What is this? No, he does that lame-ass smile, like... You know that Jack Nicholson, like, gif? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yo, this. what is this bullshit? What is this? I've seen it happen at Elevation. It's f***ing crazy. But that's your spot. Bro. But no, I don't like to approach people in public that much. Never? I don't know. People are f***ing What's your weird. flex? How do you get them? Personality, bro. Sense of humor. Mm, he does. Looks. Stiney does have a good... Looks. Uh, mm. Someone asked me if I was related to Matt Wright the other day. Or I think I, if okay. I was him. I didn't know who he was. I had to look him up. I saw you guys talked about him. You thought someone said you were related to Matt Rife? Yeah. Huh. They said you looked like Matt Rife. Yes. Did that person, was that person? Person blind? Did they have that whole bought eyes? Was it did Helen they, Keller? No, it was just. Were they wearing smooth. glasses, like really thick? I think she might have asked if I knew who he was, actually. Oh, <laughs> the story changed. Oh, <laughs> you know yeah. who Matt Rife is? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> My fault. Uh, My so, fault. So, so what do you think about that? The controversy around Matt Rife and the, the, the I think that domestic he, violence joke. I think he tried to make that joke because he has so many female fans. He thought that that attract more male fans. But uh, I didn't think it was funny. But I also don't. I don't know. There's. We also didn't hate him for the joke. I was kind of surprised that he actually made did that, that joke. One. Yeah. You thought it was like I a think little. People make such a big deal, but it's like, bro, I wouldn't. If I were him, I wouldn't make that joke to a. 90% female audience. That's probably not the smartest thing to do. Well, but isn't that's the whole point? He's trying to, you think he's trying to switch his demographic up a little bit. Yeah, but I don't think that that was the best way to do it. I right? heard he, I saw TikToks and stuff that he has Botox or filler. What? Like actually? Yes. Wow. Well, wow, damn. Like in his face. Like that's why he's so chiseled. I don't know shit about any of that, but like who, who's like, where do they even create these sort of ideas? They show pictures. You know how they do it with like Kylie Before Jenner? Before and after type Like, yes. Yeah, like, this is what he looked like. And then all of a sudden you have a glow up. Like, yeah, right. Have you heard of Phil? I mean, he's, he at the same time though, he's crushing it. So it's good for him. Yeah. yeah. He's Fuck. killing it. He's killing it. I, I thought we were talking about it last time. I thought that uh, Netflix and yeah, I thought there was like a whole little plan of theirs. So like, Oh, it. he said that on his show. He said yeah, on, on his, his special. Netflix in the special. special? In first, the special. First joke. I thought that was what? their plan to like run up the numbers. Wow. Because like you think you could put certain jokes like that that people are going to be like, oh, we got we to gotta talk about this. I feel like they did it on purpose. It made me almost watch it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. We're talking I'll about I'll probably honestly watch it too now. Yeah. I'm telling you, I think it's an, I think they're so smart that they're just like, yeah, this will get people stirred up. I just think people are just sensitive overall with all this like joke shit in general. Yeah. I try not to sh on just comedy in general because it's like the more we like, oh, should or shouldn't do this. It's like, where the f do we end up? Where it's like, we can't make jokes about fucking anything. Yeah. You know, which is just like a sh place to be, I think. Especially comedy. Yeah, dude, I don't even know. I mean. Would you get up there and make a joke like that? No. no. Not like that. What would your I, opening be? Why well, I'd have to f sit down and write something probably, bro. Mm. What would yours be? His would be I, exactly not what Matt Rife's was. That's the thing. Yeah, your problem is like, I, I feel like you're not that <clears throat> funny, like, unless you have like someone to go at or like, you know what I mean? Mm. Like a certain topic. Like if you had to sit down with a pen and paper and I gave you two days and then we compared, I think my mm. stand up would be way funnier. You think so? Yeah. You think you have. And you'd have like you a ghostwriter too. I'd have a ghostwriter? You might have a better delivery, but I think I could write funnier this shit. This is funny. You think I have a ghostwriter? I think you would get a ghostwriter. You think I would get a ghostwriter? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And it's funny because like, you, you know what's you know I think what's if people didn't like laugh at your jokes, you'd start like getting really fired up. That's, yeah, that's comedy. Funny. Do you it's know like what's you funny? turning red, like <laughs> you know, like people like will like project things. It's 
to other people. I'm not projecting. Like, no, no, no. It's like not the anger part, but like the ghostwriting thing. Because like initially your I, thought I was, I'm going to get a ghostwriter. I don't need a ghostwriter. I'm going to get a ghostwriter. That's how I beat Brad. And you just projected that. I don't need me. a ghostwriter. Well, I didn't think of ghostwriting for this. And you went right to it. Okay, boys. No, I'm saying like that's probably. This is, what is okay, this, Battle of the Egos? No, I'm just no. saying he's probably want a ghostwriter. I don't want a ghostwriter, but no ghostwriting. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, let's do a stand up. Let's do a special. No, let's have them. You should actually do that. You guys should do it on live stream. I will. You Let's do an open mic on IRL when we each Let's have a couple it. days we'll go to, to the write comedy our thing. store. Okay. I'm dead serious. Good luck, bro. And no fucking help. No nothing. Fine. All right. Just give me a few days. All right. Let's go. Your delivery is going to be shit, dude. No, and I want you get the audience to vote or something. Yeah. No, this will be really good. <laughs> I'll do it. Dude, I I'm think Sunny is pretty funny, though. He is funny. He's funny. I think he's funny context wise. I don't think he has good delivery. Okay. What's, what's so my delivery i just think sometimes your delivery is like spot on sometimes when you're candidly making jokes but like i think if you were to he might, he might fold. strategically create jokes you'd fold yeah no, what about fold. getting stage fright up there too that's what i'm saying yeah, you fold on thing. your jokes i think you have you have like good like content but like when you go to perform you're gonna like you know have cold feet i think steiny is best like on his feet rather than preparing that's what i'm something. saying because that's why what freaks you out about okay, then i'll do the whole stand up off the top of my head <laughs> no, you won't. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. No, you I won't. Do that no, you know it's something that's like planned. Like it's you know next Thursday, and you're gonna be like kind of nervous up until next Thursday. I'll just f around and find out, bro. Yeah, f around. Let I me will. Send me out. the day. I'll be there. I'll, I'm ready, dude. All right, Sarah. You want to try one? No, no Sarah's not I'm built not for funny. that shit. You're f don't say that. Aw. No, I'm wow. not. And you're like asexual. Sweet. It's like, yo, do I be sweet or not? I'm kidding. I want to be sweet to you all the time. You're a good friend. <laughs> What? He's like, I know I can't sleep with her. Do I still be no, nice the, to her? No, I actually f around. Like, Sarah, you're, you're cool as fuck. Thank you. I appreciate you staying. But if you had a chance, would you have sex with her? I don't look at her like that. Okay, but just Thank answer you. the question. No. To yes or no. I would not. You would, would you? not. Okay, would it's you? good. No. We've been down this road, dude. We've talked about this you already. just look to the left. I know the camera's I'm not right at you. The camera's Wait, right I'm, here. I'm I asked curious. him and he went like, no. <laughs> You did. Nah, you look I down. I'll run back to tapes, dude. I'm kind of curious. And you have a quarter chub. Quarters? I got <laughs> nothing, dude. What are you talking Wait, about? Why did yeah. you guys both say no? I'm just curious. But, uh, thank you for your nose. I'm just. Why uh, do you both say no? Yeah. yeah. Brad, you first. I think because, I don't know, you get to a point with someone where you, you realize like, okay, maybe it makes more sense to just be able to maintain like a good friendship and relationship instead of like, because it just fucks things up. 100%. And fuck things up for sure. Yeah. So. It's funny because because Adam came up to us and we were doing that live with Steve and he was like, he's were you there when he said some weird shit about like sleeping with the girls? It makes it easier for him to have be yeah, friends with them Adam, after. Adam said that sometimes it's easier to like sleep with someone one time to get it out of the way, and then you can be really good like friends or whatever after. Do you agree with that? No, I don't either. Because wouldn't that just make it weird always? Then? I think it'd make it. How weird. does that? Well. He's doing it professionally. We're talking about people off the street. That's way different. <laughs> yeah. That is way different. It is. He has a skewed perspective when it yeah. comes to He that. also has a fucking reality show about someone else fucking his wife next. Yo, that's people are going to say whatever they want. I love Adam. I love Lynn. I like him. That's crazy. I love them. Though. They're funny. They're both, but it's like, well, I know. It's Adam, at least he's saying fuck it, bro. It's no, hilarious. they don't give a fuck, it's clearly. Funny. Have you Otherwise, watched the show? No, but you I definitely just, have. Who are you rooting for? No, I haven't seen shit. I've just seen clips. I Which honestly, is we're like, going to talk about. I feel like they should have casted me. That would have been. I'm sure they would. If you I was hit like, him up, bro, why would oh you cast Oh my god, they would have loved that? to have. That you. would be fucking hilarious. I also don't know if I could do it though. At the end, like, is that like what you get? So you, you get you'd one win? night with like Lena. Oh. Yeah, they film it, but you have to do it with Adam too. No, no, no. That's for a threesome. Oh, fuck. I, so you two, have to fuck two guys. With, you and Adam got to fuck. Oh, her if you I can't now. do that one. I'm just saying that's what it is. That's what I understand it to be. Wait, have you ever done that? Not with two. When well, I with two guys. Oh, both two girls. Once, yeah, I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do it that's again? That's really cool. Uh, yeah. No sh That's cool. Yeah. Have you? What? Two chicks at once? Yeah. Yeah, it's like top three life experiences. Really? Probably. Yeah. Top three? Yeah. Hmm. What were the other top two? Uh, Which one's top one? I'm so curious now. I'd have to think for a second. He's like, like, that's the one? <laughs> he's like, top one is three girls. <laughs> what, like life experience? Yeah, well, you just said that's top three. That means like they're up there for like top three. Giving my mom fifty bands was pretty dope. Okay, that's like one or two then, right? Uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to. When I <laughs> oh, it, when okay. I can. Okay. Um, <laughs> should do that this month. Okay, I actually want to talk about something going off that. Steiny, do you think you have a gambling problem? Uh, not a problem, but I definitely gamble a little too much. Yeah. Why? You, Why the f did you just do that? And how do you know I got crushed this weekend? 
I had a bad weekend. Oh, really? Game. I didn't on, know this. On, on betting sports. Oh, sports betting. I didn't know about that. Sports fantasy. Not fantasy. fantasy. Oh. Not I fantasy also sports. know that you do some online gambling. Sometimes, if I'm out of the oh, country. Oh, you have a problem then. If you try yeah. to gamble in every sector there is. <laughs> yeah. Online is Like where casinos, it's... online I'm sports. I'm kind of over. I got killed last time in Vegas. Thread Rock playing blackjack. And I'm just like, it's so hard not to do it. It's so much fun, but like it's I can't sit fun. there and play small action. Like it's so f- boring. Even you have to have serious patience if you're gonna play like like twenty five fifty a hand. Like it's just it's too boring. That's what I do. I do twenty five fifty. Like I have no interest in going up or down three hundred bucks, which I guess. But it's also because like I'm around Steve around or people, yeah. whoever Dana. They're paying. They're playing such big action. Five thousand dollar hands. Yeah. You have to. You it kind of pushes you to play a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But you can't play like gambling like that. No, but I don't have like a problem where like I'm ever I'm like hurting for I'll ever be hurting for money. It's just no, like, no. I know you're not gonna be like yeah. I just See going that projection broke. thing again. It's I not no, but I'm just like, like no I, one asked him that. It's very, that I up. love the NFL and so I like funny. I like gambling in the NFL. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like nothing gets me more fun. But he than wants to, to wake up know, on the NFL. By the way, I'm not going broke. Yeah. No, I'm not. I love that. Like no one said that. No, I'm just saying like it's when you say problem like that could insinuate multiple things. Also, you just projecting that out there is interesting. I didn't, Why, I, why'd you just randomly ask me because that? Because you said you haven't given your mom 50 racks. And I was thinking that if you maybe had saved some of your I money. Have, I have it. I could give it to her. I just haven't seen her. Oh, oh okay, okay. When are you going to see her next? <laughs> be years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was good. Oh, that was really good. That's where your comedy fl- flourishes, bro. Yeah. The yeah. No, I mean, the, I w- the, like on the <laughs> my whole life, I've wanted yes. to give my mom something. So I, I, I have it for her. I got to give it to her, but that'll probably be number one or two. Yeah. But it's an accomplishment. I always wanted to buy my mom a house, but I like how sleeping with two chicks is next to giving your mom 50 bands. <laughs> that's f-ing, that's kind of lit. Yeah. No, that's a dub. That's a dub. That's, no. Congrats. What's wrong with that? I'm re- actually, it made me like happy to hear that that's, you know, and on your list of like top three life experiences. That's what? dope. Double BJ at the same time? No, the 50 racks oh, to your mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Nice. <laughs> okay, that like, was, it was, was wholesome. It made me happy. No, yeah, it's super important to me. But yeah, no, to answer your question, I could do it. I have it. I know you could. Yeah. Yeah, he's not broke or anything. I know he's not broke. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. just, just putting it know, out there. He's not down bad at all. Yeah. He's doing, he's doing good. pretty well. Everyone <laughs> talks about this, like, red pill, blue pill shit. I don't know. I think I'm off the blue pill, and it, I feel good. You're off the blue pill? Yeah. So you're like, on how the red- do you even know? Like, how, how do you know if you're off the red pill? I don't even know what it is exactly. Brad, what is It's red a pill? super big thing about, like, yo, this red pill mentality. But, like, red pill is what like does that even right mean? F- women, like, get your money. Like, <sighs> it, is it like that? Or not am I so wrong? much that. It's, it's more so like the, the, the idea of, like, the alpha mentality. Oh. Like, men being more masculine. How does that have to do with the red and blue pill? Because the blue pill in the matrix is you're in the matrix. Red pill, you're out, right? Yeah. So the matrix. You know, what the, you know what's funny about that? Is everyone in the blue pill, this is f***ed up, but I, I, I think I'm kind of more of a red pill guy myself. Okay. But in the Matrix, Neon takes the red pill. Neo. Neo. Yeah. And the entire Neo. time, Fuck. they're the ones that are miserable, and everyone in the blue pill's happy. Happy. They just don't know what else is out there. Well, yeah, they're they're also in like a, sin, like, basically created world that's like, they don't have sort of free will in a sense. That's what the whole idea of the Matrix is, is like, you're just... You're not dealing with any of the problems, but have you seen the shit in on Neo's fucking uh, what is this little aircraft ship? Yeah, yeah. It's like oatmeal cereal every day, and then the other guys are eating good. Yeah. So for a little bit, I'm gonna take the blue pill. I think for a little longer. You're gonna take the blue pill. Yeah. You just. I can the, break it in half. We'll split it. No, I'm good. No. Nah. You're gonna be Sarah, in the comfortable you like. Yo, I'm a red pill girl. No, I'm. I... Take the blue pill with me, please. I will. I will. Okay. <clears throat> wow, you guys. Are so Brad's lame. ego's too big to ever take the blue uh, yeah, pill. Yeah, no, yeah. it's the the blue pill what, is you like smash up the red pill and take it to the nostril or what? I mean, like <laughs> snort that. Sh- no, the the blue pill is like you're just you're just laying down and just allowing all the power to just control you. That's the idea. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I don't know. People get so deep about the red pill, blue pill. Shit. I mean, obviously, we're not actually. It's not that exact deep. Right. There's there's like levels to all of it where it's like this is this can be misconstrued. This is this can be misconstrued. It's like people take this too serious. People take this too serious. Like, yeah, there's no like exact way to do this. Shit. But yeah. it is definitely it's definitely become like a whole talking point on the Internet. Yeah, that, for that's sure. what I'm saying. I've seen it on like Twitter and stuff like Red Pill. Yeah. I mean, it's it's people just arguing about like masculinity and like being controlled versus like, you know. 
Dude, why alpha. do so many people get into this? You ever sit there and wonder, like, yo, why is this person so money? Why does it matter? Money. No, no, no. I'm talking about even money. random people. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. No, but everyone who's into it, yeah, red, blue pill, all this stuff. No, I'm saying like, like, like literally fans, or like audience gets involved because in because the concepts and the ideas are around like masculinity and and, and male. Like, um, you know what I saw the other day? This clip of what? This guy's talking about how he'll never let his kid wear a sports jersey because he doesn't want his kid to wear someone else's last name on his back because it's a beta move, and he's 100% serious. And I'm just like, bro. Who, who said that? I, I don't even know. I'll show you the video. I mean, it's a funny idea to put someone else's but name he's, on your back. But it's like. But it's not yeah. that deep. You're being, I know, it's not that deep. You're being a kid that wearing deep. a fucking Luka Doncic jersey, like having a I mean, good you're time. You're a fan. You're a fan, yeah. It's like, yo, this is getting a little too out of hand, bro. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, th this is the thing. Like this, even these communities have have created. They're just like funnels of money, basically. Because I've looked now, and you look at all these people who talk about it, and like they're they're selling like either programs or courses to teach you how to like be more masculine. Like, and there's this whole thing that's just like it's just another funnel. It's so f crazy, bro. The fact that people can't figure out who's full of sh like you're preaching this, sh and then you go buy this guy's program. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. People are just looking for ways to try to be better, for sure. But I do agree. I, I think there's a lot of... It's interesting because the people who are saying, like, yeah, do this, get out of this, or do that, get out of that, whatever. I want to see how many people actually get helped by that. Well, that's, that's where I'm kind of going with this. I've never like, heard someone who's ever said, yo, I take this course, and it's really helped me. I don't you? think I've ever heard anyone admit to buying one of those courses. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> people are definitely buying them, though. I for know, sure. but would you admit to buying that? I wouldn't buy that. You're would, asking no, me that? Yeah. I wouldn't buy that. I just want to see if anyone's ever come out. Maybe there is a good side to it and people, it helps people. I don't but know. But maybe it's also the good side is just like you find inner motivation. Even if the course isn't necessarily helping you, it's like some sort of placebo effect. You know that what it's like, like? This reminds me of CrossFit. You know why? Is that shit still around? Yes. Yeah. But this reminds me of CrossFit because it's like, there's like bodybuilding's been around forever. Weightlifting's been around forever, which is like the Olympic. Powerlifting has been around. Like you can do these things and get better and get stronger. And then CrossFit came along and was like, got all these like random people to like do stuff that they were like, yeah, you could be great at this too. And like at the highest level, there are like really expert athletes, but for the most part at the bottom level, it's just like people fucking hurting themselves. But it reminds me of CrossFit because it's at least getting people into the conversation. And in this, in this sense, the conversation about like being a better either man or woman, but obviously in CrossFit, it's like you know, getting someone closer to like just losing weight and feeling better about something themselves. like fitness. So it's related. just something that's getting you closer to like whatever you're trying to figure out. Yeah. Now, yeah. is there a ton of people selling dog? Shit? I'm as sure of it. There's probably some people also selling good stuff. Yeah. And you know? are there better ways than reading a program <clears throat> about it? And maybe you can experience real life things to get like well, to become better of a man or a woman or whatever. Yes, yes. But then we could also make fun of you and say you went to college and like did stuff and did the same kind of shit. like it's just some other courses accredited information that has been around for much longer that like created this accredited i'm sorry like, i think school and influencers selling a course are pretty different they're different but what i'm saying is because this. going to college is a, like an accredited school exactly exactly what i was just saying yeah okay yeah and these people i could start selling a course on how to be an influencer of course you could and how colleges started was the graduate? same exact way I got my master's oh good for you was Thank it a one you. year master's program yeah in what uh business yeah are you gonna use that you think i think maybe down the line i how will much use did it, it cost you that one year was that at ucla no it was mm. at um it's ucla it's tough <laughs> it was at a small private school over under 15k oh over 15K what? For a semester. No, no, you pay per unit. Okay, so there were 60 units. Didn't you get, like, money because you were smart? For my undergrad, I got my undergrad paid for. Yeah, she's You were on an academic scholarship? Yeah. Where did you go to undergrad? Same school. Because I got into UC Berkeley, but I chose to go to this, um, like, it's called Cal Lutheran. I chose to go there instead. They had a program that they pay for your tuition if you got into the top UCs, but chose to go to their school. Good for you. Well, she's smart for sure. And by the way, I'm not saying that like these people making courses online are smarter than fucking people making courses in a college. That's definitely not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that like the same sort of like idea is is around that. It's just like a school at one point wasn't a school until it was created and now it's in this educational organization. Yeah, I hear school. what you're saying. I, not I, that these people selling co courses on Twitter are smarter than a fucking like college professor at something. Yeah. It's not. 
But I'm just saying it's like just subscribing to something and you're learning and you're kind of being taught what someone else knows before you, essentially. Yeah. yeah. So. But so when you you gonna sign up to my course or what? <laughs> yeah, now you gotta start one, bro. <laughs> no. I've thought about shit like that, but it's like what it's like I'd rather just write a book or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. That's just, just not for me. Well, it's funny because it's the classic, like I feel like a lot of people like remember wanna... Ty Lopez? Who's that? Yo, Jacob knows what I'm talking about. What the classic, that? like he's sitting in my garage here. He's yeah, just here. He's got a Lamborghini behind him and he's got, but, but like more importantly, he's got these books, right? But he would like people selling courses about getting rich before they're rich to use the cells of the course to get rich. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the classic, like, yeah. Like you rent the Ferrari in the back, you make it seem like right. you're already established. You sell these courses because people think you're established. That's, that's different. Like you, scamming. Well, yeah. that's, that's, mm. that's age old. That's been, that's been used forever by so many people yeah. where it's like, Look at me. You could like front it, and then you think I'm successful. Then you listen to me, and but you actually made me successful by buying the course. Right. Now I have money because a bunch of people bought it. That's insane. the only thing I would ever want to. So Crazy. many people. How many people ever hit you up and like, yo, how do I get into this industry? Tons all the time. Yeah, all the time I get messaged. I don't know. What do you tell them? Uh, sometimes, like, because people ask me, like, a lot of people be like, put me under your wing, because like they're probably looking at like people that I've worked with, and like. It's just not that simple. It's like you, number one, you have to just try to start making content. I say just start and like be consistent. That's the best thing I could help you with. But like if I answer the amount of people who ask me for help, I could, there's no way I could help all of them individually. Yeah, I think impossible. there's people that want to do it that don't want to be whatever creators and you get learn how to edit or you have to just go hang out at sceny spots like around LA and shit will happen. I swear. Yeah, that's also. To like my gym. Yeah, yeah. Go, that's what that's I tell I tell kids that all the time, bro. Yeah. Like, dude, there's fucking, look at who was there today. You know what I mean? Like, there's always some creators there. Yeah. Just start off there. I say, be nice, introduce yourself, and then say, yo, if you ever need anything, I can help you out. Yeah. 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 I that's mean, that's good advice. Works, for sure. Consistency and then doing things like that. Like, putting yourself in the right places, regardless, even if it's not, like, content creation, um, putting yourself in the right situations, making good connections is, like. Everything's about your network. It is, 100%. When do you, like, if you're asexual, how do you, do you find a partner? Like, I don't know. Do I, I like how you went from the network to like, yo, what's How does that sex? work? Like finding a partner, like to marry? Yeah. Like if you get married, like. Oh yeah. No, I'm sure like if I you get married. Play crossword married, puzzles. No, I'm sure if I get married, like I would like love my husband in that way. Like to do that. And they play. But it's like a non-physical relationship forever. No, no, so no. So you got to match with another asexual. Oh, that'd be dope. Damn, that'd be. I don't think you're going to find that. No, I know. I No, nah. I, it's not that. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that. right now, that's not what I'm looking for. But yeah. like once I am, you know, it's like it'll the right person I'm not going to be asexual with. Oh, OK. Yeah. But it's like right now. What's the right person for you? Just curious. I've said this before so many times. Just someone who's like driven, passionate. Personality. Um, huh? <laughs> you want to. Ripped ass meathead. No, I do not care at all. Quit lying you for the episode. No, the, the, you don't care about that. The people that, like, in the past, history wise, <clears throat> like, that I've had interest in, none of them really worked out, even. Or maybe did hit the gym, but not You're like. in there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just I like check all boxes. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I'm not to... asexual, though, right now. Or I guess I kind of am. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, sparks. I'm on a dry street. <laughs> What's going That's on? I'm gonna be asexual, right? Sparks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Adam said, try it out. See how it is after. No, but that's the part that I don't want to do. I don't want to do the trying out part. Yeah, no, me neither. I this one from I'm not going to try to hit on Sarah to hitting on Sarah. <laughs> I'm back and forth with it. Why? I don't know, because it's like kind of easy to like. I'm easy? No, to like flirt with and oh. joke around. You're obviously not easy if you're not into that. Thank you. Yeah. I actually love Steiny. Thank you. Why? What do you love about him? Two things. Please. Two things. He's respectful. Thank you. <clears throat> Like, huh. that's weird. No, I always get that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really like, respectful. Okay, very respectful. Go yeah. Can, go ahead. Caring. 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 I can help. You're gonna you. load. Yeah. You're gonna load these answers for us. <laughs> what? You're gonna load these. Guys, you're taking 15 minutes. Yeah, no, no, because I'm, I'm still like. No, just, give her time. There's so <laughs> many coming. Time. There's so many coming okay, up to my head. Two for Brad, then. Two for Brad. Yeah. Uh huh. Best qualities. Yeah. Very good at business. Businessman. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, he's always there if I need him. Okay, so there was quick too. Oh, 
Go finish you his. Still you still owe me finished. one. You still owe one for him. You're, so, uh, you know what? you're, you're empathetic. You're empathetic. Empathetic. Yeah. That was like she looked in the actually, dictionary and was like, eh, okay. No, she didn't. No, but I also do care about people. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Believe I, it or not. I feel like if I, I got mad love for real ones. If I called you and I was like, you know, talking about something traumatic, you'd, you'd, you'd sit there and listen. Yeah, if you gave him a Rolex and $10,000 cash. <laughs> that is then crazy. of course. Then he'd be there. He'd be, like, yeah, he'd be there just you, like in Brazil. You ask any one of my friends. You know what's funny? That Dude, if I've ever been there for them. And Brad's, Brad's, Brad's roasting me right now, but the amount of times I've done really great things for him is an endless list. Do you think he, you count favors? No, but I've when if, if he said certain things to me or asked me to do certain things, I haven't even questioned them. And I've just said, There are some things he... he that That is true. I was going to roast you super hard. I'm not going to roast you because you are telling the truth. There are things I'd be like, yo, don't f do this. This mother is our mother you're like, got gotcha, you. Don't dude. associate. Don't can do this. True. I need Shady. you for this. And guess who shows That's up? That's true. I show up, Sarah. That's true. Super true. Yeah. I can't take that away. Yeah. I was going to roast what? you for the Brazil thing, but I can't. Nah, that, yeah, that wasn't can't. my fault. What are your uh, three biggest life experiences? Do you have those? <laughs> Graduating, getting my master's. Um, that was huge for me. Getting my master's. What was your GPA? Like, from my master's? Yeah. 3.92. That's not even school. possible. Yeah, it is. How many courses are there? 15. Okay, uh, maybe. So we Jesus had one B. Christ. One B. Oh, is it? I think A, I think a I minus. What a courses? minus is a 3 8. What courses? Yeah. 15. What, what the f are the name of these? 15 courses. What are the names of these? Strategic and behavioral like analysis. I wonder what you get if you took the ACT right now, if you could get over a 20. I think it's out of 36. 32? Or 36. Can I get a test? Versions. Can I get like a mock test and do that? I'd crush that dumbass test. Yo, <laughs> your ego is massive. There, I, I don't think crush you'd get, that I think you'd get around a 21, 22. It's yeah. 36? I think, yeah, I think average is 18 or 30, 20. I get 32. Yo, you're not getting close to that. Dude, you can't give do me that, that test. How it's can like I get that test? It's like difficult math. Yeah. Well, get it. We can get you a... Get a, a practice book. Practice one, yeah. You need to study. And it's time. I never studied. Never studied. Is yeah. it multiple choice? I yes. think so. 36 out of 36. You, that's no fucking chance, bro. Deduct my deductive that's a perfect reasoning score, skills bro. are insane, bro. They're How's insane. your comprehension? Easy. Reading comprehension, sir. Bro, easy. Yeah, we'll see. Yo, I really want to do that for real. That's a funny video. Well, Four hours. That's the only. Problem. You're right. It is oh. out of thirty six. It's a long hours? test. Why the f is it four hours? And in high school, you'd have to pay like one hundred and fifty dollars to take it. There's a Mr. Beast video. Mr. Beast should get ten creators, and winner gets hundred k on the highest in the ACT. That's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. he'll probably do that. Yeah, Mr. Beast, just shout me out, bro. Nah, that's actually a really good idea. Damn. Or do more. He 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 could do like half a mil or a million, probably. Yeah, that'd be worth it. I would crush People that People wouldn't want to get exposed Do you think you'd do score? good on that test? I took it. Um, what did you get? I got like a 26. No, I did not I did not do that well. I did, my SAT was higher than my ACT. Uh, but what? So what's the difference between ACT and SAT? I don't One know. One of them, they're, they're ACT scored has science, and SAT, How's I think, doesn't. your science? Doesn't. My science is kind of weak. My math is my strong Can you name suit. the planets closest to the sun? No, I probably can't. Damn. I can't what either. The Bro, I can't tell Can you? Mercury, Look. Venus, Earth, Mars. Are you looking at astronomer? Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. What about okay, Uranus? Oh, fuck, I forgot that one. Uranus is eighth. <laughs> Dude. We're going to get roasted Dude. for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a no, that, was like actually, a that was actually really impressive. That was kind of like. I feel like you're into astrology and shit. You're one of those guys, too. No. What's your zodiac sign, Was yeah. that like my Gemini? Like What's your Gemini? Yeah, you're a Gemini. Yeah, I don't believe in all that bullshit. Are you yeah. a Gemini? Yeah, when a chick asks me that, I actually it makes me like shiver. <laughs> shiver? Yeah. Like physically shiver. Because I just want to say, yo, what what different I'm me no matter what. Yeah. I don't need no sign to define yeah, me. That's a Gemini thing to say. Yeah. I'm also probably, a Gemini. That's probably what you would say. I'm a Gemini. Like when oh, a chick's yeah, like, yeah, we would May, baby. Gemini tours. His, his birthday's one day after mine. That's yeah. crazy. It's, and guess what? He doesn't fing text me on my on his on that's my birthday. Bullshit, and I text him every year. Yeah, Brad's really like, bad how could at showing. No, I'm a day before. Bro. That is your worst quality. Is you're terrible at showing gratitude. No, 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 not showing. It's just dates and shit. I'm terrible at dates. I'm terrible okay, well, take, at birthdays. Okay, I want you to th take your birthday. It's your birthday. Day before, it's mine. Yeah, but I'm. You thinking, don't even need I'm to know the about, date, bro. I think I'm thinking about my birthday. I think the day before. Yeah. Focused on that, you know. Yeah. Focused on the. Fact. Honestly, I don't even care. Your about girl takes anymore. a beating that day, huh? Huh? Your girl's cheeks take a the beating. You talking birthday, about? For sure. Why on my birthday? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's like it's a big day for you. Why? I just I don't know, bro. Why, why would that be the case? I just see you like dominating like it's on your birthday. Why on my birthday though? Even you? Do you do domination? Well, I, hold on. Why my birthday? Why not any other day? Because it's your day, bro. 
But why not any other day? Because because your significant other will be like, oh, it's his birthday. Like, I'm down today. <laughs> Does she want to be down the other days? No. But on your birthday, it's like, it's his birthday. Like, yeah. Wow. That's... Answer his questions. No. The, there's no question. You just made an assumption. Was he right? I feel no, like... He, he I don't know. In passing, I heard some crazy... I don't want to get into in it. In passing about what? <laughs> hog tying. <laughs> hog tie. Red ball. Like, in I don't passing? Know. Yeah. Who the f you passing you were lifting so with some bro at the gym and i was like yo jesus christ you so you're just making last year on may 23rd you're just making up now that's <laughs> no, good not that's a good one i love how anything. he said in passing in passing it was you, like just hog walk, tie. you just walk by and i'm talking about hog tying someone what's hog tie well you tie up the legs and the hands <laughs> okay the fact time. that you knew what it was is that you probably but i know what a hog tie is he's a hog dude. tie yeah i know what a hog tie is yeah. that's it i didn't so even know what that was that's why i was confused it's... when i heard about right, it right of course okay, Stiney. i thought we were talking about a like pig the... roast and we were having one at brad's later yeah the fact that you knew what it was makes it seem like obvious well i don't know the exact tie i'm just assuming it has four legs no you weren't assuming you gave me a fact i don't know answer. we could google that could we google no that? Okay, don't i'm no interested in talking about your fantasies anymore you literally brought them up you weirdo and then you're like in passing this is a hog or some shit. funny it's strange man all right do we have any other topics i'm gonna pee all right guys quick interruption to our podcast today's sponsor for this video is factor meals factor yes. meals is an amazing ready to eat meal prep service it gets delivered mm. right to your doorstep i know brad is lazy doesn't like to cook always hate and it. i hate it. You you kind of cook sometimes. I kind of cook sometimes. You cook a little bit. I cook a little bit. But this makes it easy. But this makes it way better. You just like pop it in, <clears throat> beaming, yes. hot, ready, convenient. Yeah, it's it's way better this way. I'm not going to lie. Damn. It just shows up at your doorstep and it's ready to eat. You just pop it in the microwave and enjoy. Okay. Mac macro friendly. Very it's macro all just friendly. Like, shh, shh, shh. Fresh ingredients. Bang, bang. It actually tastes good too. It tastes you so good. You cooked me one at, at, at Zoo. I, I made remember you them had, for you at Zoo Culture. Yeah, in the, in the, it was actually good in, my, in the microwave. It's actually clean ingredients, solid. I'll be honest, like I just honestly, I know you, maybe we're kind of the same in this. We both don't really like to cook that much. No. And with the holiday season, I've been busier. So I've been extra busy with the holiday season. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't know how much Sarah cooks at home or not, but I genuinely am not, not a big cooker. I'm just not. I like having things prepared for me. Honestly, save a lot of money. It makes it my life way, way easier. Yeah, I'm it's... like constantly filming stuff, jumping between sh like bang, bang. It's like easy to have the food ready, already at my house, pop it in. I'm done. On with my day. Super simple. All right, guys. So if you want to give it a shot, go to factormeals.com slash mommy daddy talk 50. And when you guys check out, put in code mommy daddy talk 50 to get 50% off right now. Again, that's factormeals.com slash mommy daddy talk 50. Let's get back into this podcast. Yes. Thank you, guys. Bro, it, it sounded like it took a really long time for the It the took a to really them. long time. And you did not shut the bathroom door. Yeah, the pee was like... I was going quick, bro. I didn't want to waste your guys' time. It was time. like you had Big a long... screen. No, it was like... How loud it took was that? A My while. It wasn't loud. Sorry, it was just I can't like, control that. I could barely hear it. Yeah, I was just like, why is it taking so long to get this to hit the water? It just took me a second to get started. I'm, it's, there's a lot of pressure. You guys are all in here. And you could have shut know. the door. Okay, my pressure. bad. My bad. Just had to pee while we're all here. What happened with Nikki Narasina? He came on here, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Nick came on. Your boy. boyfriend. He's not oh, my yeah. boyfriend. What's that? See, that's no, no, not your like, boyfriend. His boyfriend, his boyfriend. Yeah, that's well, not... I lived with him for a little bit. Yeah, you guys all like slept in the so same bed. So did Jacob, bed. yeah. Did we did not all sleep in the same bed, bro. Dude, you guys did. I he had, looked at you like you're lying. I had a lot of traffic coming in and out that bitch. A lot of chicks were coming. How true is that, Jacob? Jacob was there. Jacob lived in 3602. He did? But was it a lot or is it exaggerated right now? But it looked like a Black Friday sale. He lived in the same Like, place. I'm telling you, it was like, okay, it was not that crazy, but there was a few. Like, how many, how many, like, a week? One or two. That's actually a lot. That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's fair. Verify. <laughs> Verify. So Yo, when, did you, when did you three sleep in the same bedroom? We did not sleep in the same bed, bro. Okay. We well. just shared a two bedrooms hmm. how attractive is nick to you on a scale of one to ten no homo like as a homie like how attractive is he like as a friend yeah i have no answer for that how attractive she is tried to fucking get you i know no, what do you that think that was crazy no, i can admit when one of my girlfriends is like a eight yeah or this a ten. is so different for no, dudes sarah's a capper low-key i you feel like you'll you, you'll say like you'll give your friend a nine but deep down you feel like she's a six no i would never do that okay but yeah i don't have a rating for that oh you don't no not for nick no because he broke your guy. scale? <laughs> no, I mean, he's a good guy, though. I mean, yeah, he's a good friend, too. Like, I would you let him. your daughter date him? <clears throat> Probably not. Would you let your daughter date Bradley? <gasps> no. Okay. Absolutely not. Would you let your daughter date absolutely Jacob? Absolutely not. Would you, would you let your daughter date Jacob? Yeah, probably. Jacob's pretty harmless. Would you let your daughter date Steve? No. 
I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's I love that. It's a good. These are good questions. No, these are not. I don't Bradley, like this what game. You? Would you let your daughter date Steve? Steve will do it. Yeah. He's gonna say yes, but no, you would not, bro. Because you'd have to hear jokes about that every day of your life. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. No, no I'm not means... talking about the jokes. I'm just talking about like as a person. Yeah, yeah. Or you're. I know what's going through your head. What's going through my head? It's a lot of bread coming through. No prenup. Well, he takes care of Lena really well. Oh well, that's also a problem. But yeah. So. But I mean, if your daughter married him, you'd make sure no prenup. I don't give a. F- about that's, that, dude. that's a good f- what the f- well, I'm, I don't, it's extra money it's like a bonus it's like you a Christmas bonus that? would you let your daughter date Nick Narasina yeah bro these are quick yes yeah yeah, yeah 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 Nick's a solid yeah. dude I think Nick's a good guy yeah then why'd you say no because it's just making me feel uncomfortable oh okay yeah well, keep you ask me about Jacob would you let your daughter date Jacob yes okay would you let your daughter date Steiny no why bro I'll huh? take care of her. Mm. No, you just got. No, I just know. Be so pissed off at like Thanksgiving. Would you? We could do it at my crib. Let's do it at my no, crib. No, we would not. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let. Why? That. She'd be taken care of. <laughs> that's why. Why did he say it like that? that? That's why. <laughs> She'd be taken like, care of. That came off weird, but like it's that's not. just why. That's why. Yeah. What's why? I just. I don't know. Can we reverse this game? I kind of want to do like with Brad's. Imagine me and Brad's. Daughter did our own version of plug talk. You and Brad's daughter. What? Yeah. What f- does that mean? Like if she grew up and like. But wh- how would you to have a kid? <laughs> no, me and her did a competitor to plug talk. No, he's. So it'd be me, oh Brad's my daughter, a different chick. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Good Brad, we'll give you a cut. No, dude. Brad, would you let but- your son date Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean no, because yeah. he's not getting any play. Would you let your <laughs> wait, Brad? Would you let your daughter date Sarah? <laughs> I'd love my daughter. Yeah. I'm not gay. Well, I know, but I mean, if you're asexual, so oh. it's like whatever. Or be best friends. Like you're friends. just homies, you know? Yeah. Because you're probably, like, another point, and not to be on some beta shit, because I'm, but like, if if we, were, like, had a house together, and we were together, and an intruder broke in, oh, I God. would, I could, I'd feel comfortable sending you down and dipping out the back, and like, you could probably That's handle some it. beta shit. Is that beta? Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, but it's all, it's always a two-on-one, at least. Because, <laughs> I'll wow. save myself, bro, and go, come through and help you. Wow. But no, that's would, another I would, thing. I would if someone breaks husband, in, like, damn, they no. think they're getting, like, like just a scary girl. Like, Sarah's <laughs> in that. Like, they're like, I would oh, need my sh- husband wow. to be the protector in that <laughs> yeah, kind of dude, situation. Come on, man. Well, I am the protector, but I also got to think about myself. You just said you'd slam me down and you'd run out the back door. No, yeah. I'd get out the back Give door. Give yourself if, time to if, get if, away. If, unless I loved you. If I loved you, I'd go down and fight with you. Well, she'd be your wife. I hope you love her, Well, she was my girlfriend. You and I decide right. peace, I'd go through the back, probably. Oh my god. No, that's insane. the role I would need my husband to fulfill because I get really like Yeah. And you I have would, to pull I'd love up, to be bro. the protector. You would? How would you protect Oh <laughs> Hit him with the with the Glock? I have a nine. Oh, okay. What do you have? I have a few guns. Me too. You wanna see him? I've seen him. Oh, okay. Yeah. You wanna see mine? You don't have one. What right here? I got two. <laughs> yeah. Brad I laugh. think that's how we end it. Brad laugh. That's Brad it? laugh. No, we have so much more to do. I think we just, if she, that's like a joke. We can't. No, we just try on. to think of something else to talk No, we just can't it. continue with that after that. Okay. Other questions? We just can't continue after that. Wait, what are the questions? You guys ask everybody these questions? Bo- and by the <clears> way, <throat> your sons would be honored to date me because I would take care my of son's them. Not, my son's not dating an asexual, probably. No, but I'm saying you're not understanding. Like I'm like, asexual yeah, until I meet the friends. right person. Oh, okay. I am asexual until I meet the right person. Until I meet your son. <laughs> yeah, plug talk with Brad's daughter. That was pretty good. Every time you'd like, oh, dude. Every time you'd sleep with her though, you'd see Bradley. You'd probably like that though, huh? Yeah, but with Brad's him, daughter. Yeah, you'd see get Bradley. get him extra hyped up. Pulling up to dap up Brad after just <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, oh. I'm saying you'd see Bradley in her, like her, like his features in her, because that's his daughter. Nah. I'm gonna be thinking about that. Because the mom's probably, she'll probably get the mom's genes. The mom's gonna be hot. True. The question so on the Discord, discord.gg slash raw gear, mommy and daddy talk, you scroll down, you can find it. It says, the question is, how would you describe what you look for in a woman? It's, it's to me, but I want you to answer this too. Sure. In your 20s versus now, any major difference? So when you were younger, what did you look for in a woman? And then, and then now, what do you look for in a woman? You kind of talked about that, but. Ooh, that's good. Let me ask detail. it. Let me ask yeah, you guys, because for the clips, yeah. give me the question. I'll say when I was like 22. Wait. It's, it's not, 
direct i kind of made it okay okay let me ask so okay. it's it's just like what you look for when you were younger versus now okay okay steiny and bradley <clears throat> what did you guys look for in a woman when you were 20 compared to now that you're older mm. what qualities that's a sarah the hard-hitting ones thank you it's a good Brad, i'm gonna let you take that one no go for it bro please you should go for <laughs> it's it your first. show dude honestly i, I don't want to be rude bradley, to my guests. go first no i think you should go first i think I'm, i didn't really look like i just i don't know i was more focused on just trying to get laid i think yeah, I was gonna say I was. That's just a maturity scumbag. thing. Yeah, I was a complete piece of. And I was never rude to women. Are I you? Are, neither are you of you guys have any woman fans, right? We so. do. We have a lot of women actually. They always tell me. Oh, we really? Don't. Okay. Yeah. Well, like for me, it's respect and like all that's really key too. I think personality's always been big of mine. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if we hit it off, that's super important. And like for me, like women always tell me they can tell how a guy's with a girl how their relationship is with their mom. My mom's my best friend. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's, great. that's, that's just something it's always worked for me, but yeah, I'm looking, I think then like, I know you were quick to say getting laid. I think relationship and like really hitting it off is something you should look for before going for just Bro, shit like okay. that. Okay. Right. <laughs> he completely switched his answer after he asked if we have women watching this or not. And then he just gave a <laughs> bull ass answer. <laughs> no, the he... truth is when you were in your twenties, yeah. you were a dog. I was a dog. Was, yeah, definitely. That's the point. Okay. I was. You guys now, are both still dogs. No, f no, I'm not. <laughs> He's still a dog. He's yeah. still a dog for real. Yeah. I'm way past that. Are you guys the type of guys before, I guess, to like, even if you didn't like a girl that heavily or you knew you weren't going to see her the next day, you'd kiss her on her forehead? I don't mm. think I've ever done that. You don't kiss girls <laughs> kiss on, on the forehead? cheek. Forehead's mm. kind of like. Jacob, I know Jacob was that guy. Kiss a girl on her forehead, even though you don't that's plan a... to see her ever again. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. If that's a one night thing, then no, it's just like a hug. I'll talk to you soon. So, so more so that question is like, did you ever make a girl feel like you wanted more from her when you only wanted to? F right? Yes. Did you yeah. ever make her feel? I've uh, only, to be honest, I've no only done that. Your answer and Brad's <laughs> only no, 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 thing. no. I swear, I swear, I've only done that a few times in my life because I realized really quickly how fucking lame it was. No, bro, I feel like you're master at that. No, no, I, I, I straight up like I got to a point where I was just like, hey, this is what it is. Yes or no? Deal with it. What do you mean? Yes or no to what? Like, are you okay? Like, I, I'm. this is not going to be more than this. You're transparent? I was, but not in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning, I did after like... After the session. No, I'm saying I did... <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you're I did like two forehead before. kisses. You're not risking that. That's Bro, rolling I the dice. I swear to you, dude. I did like two forehead kisses. Then I was like, this is f***ed up. Because when it was gone, they were all like, eh. And then it's f***ed up. And then when I moved forward, it was just like, dog, like a complete f***ing dog. Yeah. And I said I was just honest about it. That's good. So. Damn. I feel like that's the way you have to be. You should be. You should be honest about it if you're going to be a dog. Yeah. You shouldn't make them think you're going to fall in love with them. No. Like Jacob would do. You definitely don't do that. <laughs> Jacob definitely did that when I he was I think younger. I've probably done that. I think up. I'm sure you have. If you buy a girl like an expensive purse, I know I've seen, I've heard you talk about it on your podcast. If you buy a girl an that's expensive- That's not night one. That's Wait, night- Wait, yes it is. That's you night three, four. You said, you said night one. You said like right away you buy them a gift. So then you take they them get- to Miami. Yeah, that, that was the old me. Oh. But that makes that's what I'm saying. That makes a girl think that like she's in, like you guys are locked in. Right. And that's I don't do that shit anymore. That was a oh. stupid phase. I've learned a lot. Good. Yeah. You I wait, I wait, I wait, that. I wait three or four nights for that. That's not a night one quick thing. Oh, this is just the third night? No, I'm kidding. Like, but I will wait if I do that. I don't really think I need to do that anymore. I thought you realized that wasn't but sustainable. But that's the f expectation now. It's so stupid. It's not the expectation. I've never gotten a gift like that. I don't think it's expected. Guys never buy you anything? I have never received. Didn't I get you something? No. Is that weird that you've never bought a or gotten a gift from anyone? No, I don't think it's weird. You want something though, don't you? No, I don't. Don't you, mommy? She wants a because necklace. What? <laughs> She's her like, mommy and daddy. Show what? Back. No, I feel like it's then. <laughs> that, that was, was scary. Wow. Well, I'm just like, I'm I'm role playing too because I'm the son trying to take care of my mom. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow. That mommy. What was that? Whack? No, it was good. Yeah, no cook, bro. I feel okay. like you really cook. got into character for that. Sorry, one. my fault. No, it was good. I'm not gonna stop you. That was good, cook. No, that was great. No, you're gonna get jealous. No, why the fuck would I get jealous? The fuck? I don't give a shit. Dad's not going to get mad. No, dude. <laughs> You're like a strange, an estranged don't. relationship, you know? Yeah. It's like estranged. I don't know what that. Dude, I think I'd be that's so right scary. Word. It'd be scary to be your kid. Why? Dude, those belt marks are going to be like <laughs> Crazy. paddle. Holy shit. Your kid's going to be one tough motherfucker, though. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but holy. Do Imagine disobeying Brad as a kid. Dude, I know. Do you think he'd be Dude, a better I would girl be, dad or I'd boy dad? I'd be hitchhiking dad? on the street. That's a good question. Do you question. think he'd be a better girl dad or a boy dad? He'd be way better with a girl. Yeah. 
fucked. What am I going to end up with? That's you what should I've have I've a daughter. Don't that. have a son, bro. That kid's going to be fucked. I feel like you'd be a really good girl dad, too. I think you'd be a great dad either way, but I think, like, if your son gets in trouble, he's getting his ass beat, and it's going to be not fun. <laughs> You agree, right? Yeah, he's scary. That's when Brad funny. gets angry, it's actually like it's terrifying. not just a spanking. It's like it's like a beating. It's yeah. <laughs> it's That's like funny. I got a call. Like trip to the ER. CP. He fell down the stairs. <laughs> I'm mad. Tell him. <laughs> Tell him. No, I wouldn't beat my kids, man. I I'd definitely reprimand them. When do you think? I thought you were gonna have a daughter or have a kid. You'd I be want so to. like about your daughter. You know those guys that love to say my daughter, bro. Yeah, probably. I'd be so about my kids for sure. Yeah. Okay, don't make it weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. How is that weird? Well, Being when are you going to do it? Dude. You got to be <sighs> careful, though, because I feel like if you if you get in a scenario where you got to pay child support, you're going to get pissed getting those bills. Yeah. That'd be crazy. That would suck. I yeah. think Brad's just all Maybe talk be, when it comes to that. He's not going to have a family anytime soon. Be no. in a, or just do it, bro. And I'll be the godfather. What's that look on your face? Here's uh, another question. Would you have Steiny as the godfather father of your child? Meaning if you die... And your wife, then oh. child goes to Steiny. I think I'd rather have Steve. Why? It's more income? Yeah, he'd be able to take care of my kid better, probably. Okay, that's fair enough. I don't want to yeah. take care of your kid. It's not yeah. my job. You have I it. think Steve, like, I almost want to take care her. of your wife. God forbid anything ever wow, happens. Wow, that's fucking crazy. I'm a good guy, bro. You take care of my wife? Yeah. Wow. I would haunt the f. <laughs> <laughs> I would ruin your fing living life, yeah. man. Bad, Why? Yeah. He's being nice. He'd take care of take your life. Take care of my, my brat will somehow stay alive <laughs> through spirit or something. Yeah. Yeah. And drive me crazy. I'd be right there. Yeah. No, I'm good on that. No, I'd rather have Steve. Yeah. Just personally. What are your fitness goals? I don't have any goals. Just the you way. quit, huh? You think, why don't you just try and compete and get actually just, oh, no. at this point, you should just get huge. No, I like eating way too much. I don't want to get any bigger than I already am. I like eating way too much that I could never compete. I don't want to die. Did you ever take uh, tests or no? No. I don't think what? girls take tests. Do girls yeah, take tests? Crazy. Oh. They do. I'm in um yeah. I'm trying to get bigger. I'm you in are? a gym chat. I have a gym text going. You're in a gym chat? Me, C Bum, and Sam Solik. That is a how lie. How lazy or how sorry, how crazy is that? That's <laughs> a lie. How, how lazy. lazy. I'll show it's you after. Lie. I'll show you after. Show me out. Show me right okay, now. I will. No, I'm not gonna show you now. <laughs> show me right now. We chat. They're pushing me, I'm He's pushing lying. them. Okay, that's nice. That's not you know what, happening. You know what advice Sam did give me? As he said, watch more anime videos to get you motivated. I watch a lot of anime. Yeah, he's like, bro, like, it'll get you motivated. Show me the chat. I, I'll show you after this, bro. You're show being it weird on camera. No, I don't want to do that. It's a private conversation. Yeah, bro. You're, you're just brought it up. We talk about other shit besides getting swole, believe it or not. Just we show have, it to me. Let's confirm it. There, That's the type of relationship that like I admire. What's that? Is the Courtney. one that he lies about? No, having? the Courtney and C-Bomb. Oh. Maybe stop f***ing around with these relationships online, Sarah. What do you mean? Like... We oh know yeah, who's <clears throat> Nick? All these people like you keep doing these fake things. No, with Nick. Try and be real no, with I it. learned my lesson with Nick. I solidified like I'm only your friend. Like this is just a friend. Like I'm coming with you to support you as a friend. And yeah. he knew that. I was. Did you watch the video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It wasn't like that, right, Bradley? You were there. I was there. Yeah, I knew it wasn't like that. I saw it. Okay. Verified. I didn't watch the video though. I didn't either. I didn't watch it yet. Cause I, I don't know. I, was I watched some afraid. of it. I was afraid to watch it. Should I download like a dating app? Maybe I don't know if that would Just work. Put it in your you. bio, though. What my Instagram? What? Bio? No, on your dating app. Just like let them know in the bio. Oh, that I'm asexual. Yeah, like that. I'm not. That's actually a good idea. That I'm not like looking. You'd still, you'd still probably get a lot of like. There'd be those guys like, like want the challenge of like, yeah, oh, until I, she meets me type. Shit. Oh right. But like I think you ego. should let them know, so they're not. You know what I mean? That's important. Yeah, that is important. You're right. But I think you should get on there. Would you try a dating app? No. <laughs> I like it. What if what if we did a little like dating show with and we found like guys and tried to actually see if Oh, that's cool. Would you Yeah, would, no, you did no excitement out of that. No, that's well it's ace it's the asexual energy. Like who would the five oh, opponents asexual be? Is so tough, dude. Who would the five opponents and then they'd win like a gym date and like a cob we can get cob after. Yeah, that'd be fire. No, seriously, look, we should set this up. Who are the five who, who would we pick though? Like who would be the guy? Like the least five of the least horniest dudes you can find, <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess you gotta find like I don't know, huh? We'll throw a girl in there too and just test. No, she, I she know. well, like a like a hot girl. We don't need a test. I know that I don't like girls. But like, 
Maybe Why not? Like, yeah, <laughs> throw her in there anyways. Then you could just like what it, ignore, guaranteed you know. to you'd hit it off with her the most. That's not true. <laughs> but that's funny. That's true. Probably that is hilarious. Like you'd, be, you'd get a best friend. Out no, of but that worst case. would you do that? Oh, that'd be cool. If we set, if we try to like set up a video like that. Yeah, but as long as like they don't actually expect anything, like the asexual thing, like I'm, I'm. That's not like, like I. That's until I meet the right person. But I'm saying first dates, like I don't want to like do anything like weird, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, that's not any of our but fucking like, business. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're not really trying to. Like, but I, would you do the concept of, like, f getting, like, f what, five, ten guys? Yeah. And then yeah. doing, like, how do we do? There's, like, in the white room thing where it's, like, a white room. That or they could just sit See, right they, where I'm sitting. Yeah, they can go be outside in the hall and one. one I got to fucking create. Oh, and, oh, and we interview and we them. Interview yeah, them. see, I got to do your creative for you, bro. You have them sit where I'm sitting, your mom and daddy type shit, and then you you interview them. I have to grill them. Yeah. Wow. Or you mediate it or something. Let's do that. That would be so funny. That would be really good. We Wait. gotta pick. We gotta pick some guys though. Let's do that. We can have Felipe. Like even if it's. Oh, okay. actually, I should have done that. Just giving you guys my ideas. Come back. I'll, I want to be on the show at least. You'll win. You'll you win if come you come on? back. Yeah. Okay, you'll be one of them. Okay, Felipe. Okay, we gotta get like Felipe Steiny. Six more people. And maybe some people that I don't know. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's gotta be people you don't know. Okay, we'll set that up. We're gonna set that up. This video's got to get a hundred thousand likes. It's not gonna get it. What's going on with YouTube lately? Dude, YouTube's tough, bro. I don't know. It's interesting. I miss watching I've a taken, podcast, but your I've, Trevor Wallace one was amazing. I've taken a little break. Why? Just needed a mental break from everything for a little bit. This IRL stuff is like a whole different animal I wasn't really ready for. You can handle it. You're going to continue it? I don't know, bro. I'm, it's not really my... It's like really getting out of my comfort zone to do that. Why? What part of it? It's because uh, I, I explained this to Steve, too. It's like when we did a YouTube video, we'd film for like three hours. And then you just take the best 15, 20 minutes of it or mm -hmm. longer than three hours, probably six. Like you really got to be entertaining that entire time. Well, it's on. Or you see viewers dipping and that gets in your head or chat's not happy. And you're just like, fuck, like I got I really got to act like a fool for four hours straight. Yeah, but it comes a time that you can't act like a fool for four hours straight four times a week. That's not sustainable. People will watch it regardless. Well, yeah, I know. We just, I just saw Fusi at the gym. Yeah. But Which, the, yo, have you talked to him lately? Yeah. I love that dude. He's yeah. so nice. He's a great a person. He is. Yeah. He he's lost some weight since I saw him like he last has? week. Yeah, he good. looks good. Yeah, I know he's been going to the gym. Um, I think that I think the problem that people are having is that everyone is so hyper fixated on just view count. Well, like you count the also these relationships, bro. Well, that's what's I don't driving understand. a lot of why are, shit. Like, why the f why do people give a fuck if I, so and so and so and so is having relationship beef? Because it's a demo. It's the like age people, of like, the viewers that are interested in. It's like modern day fucking reality TV. That's what it is. That's just that's I, for me. I'm just surprised. Like you, people always complain about or like they want like more quality content, all this stuff, but like they're so involved in simple shit I, I it's weird but that's my my take on youtube right now i don't think people are even watching that much youtube well i think that doesn't necessarily come down to the streaming stuff i think that that comes down to the clips yeah because most people just watch content we were talking on the phone like and you mentioned this everyone that i talk to says the same shit. they're like yeah did you see that podcast like oh i saw this clip and everyone just referenced clips of course like that is where most people digest content i just think people aren't as many people going to youtube and like watching full-length videos anymore that's yeah. it's also long like you got to sit there for 45 to an hour two hours watch something when you could go on tiktok and watch the five best minutes that's what i'm saying the clips are like the highlights usually so yeah. here's my here's my like bigger picture question what the fuck happens in 10 years when like kids grow up on this like everything's like instant like in 10 years are like we just fucked as a society as far as just like having conversation with people and shit. like our I think kids we already are fucked. i'm well, fucked bro i'm on my phone way too much i hate it how many hours a day i don't even know but a lot yeah probably like six or seven like majority of the day yeah but that's also like what i have to do that's my excuse too but yeah, it's also, also it just it just can fucks your mind up it does well that's what i'm saying but now imagine kids is like that's just like uh, like from the moment that they can start doing stuff they're on a goddamn phone yeah they're like what the what is gonna happen I don't know what to think about it. I'm it seems to weird Pat. to think that kids like, well, kids are gonna go to school, get a job, like, do normal lives. I feel like that whole thing is like, this is pushing them away from that. Yeah, I mean, they what they did a poll a couple years ago is like everyone wanted to be a YouTuber. 
Everyone but it's also is. like <clears throat> you're a kid and you watch these influencers and all of them have nice cars, nice watches, nice homes, money. They always have fun and they don't have to go work nine to five. Right. I used to preach against that, too. But you really think about it like what we do. It's not it's sustainable. Kind of not really at all. This <laughs> thing can change. Things can change. Things one year. Change. I think it's um, you could make you could make two million dollars one year and the next year you could make a hundred grand in this industry. Like, yeah. There's no guarantee. But that's why the two million that you get, you don't spend and you invest it properly. And then hopefully it. Oh, are you the are you a finan fin Is this financial advice? What's our safari? Welcome. Welcome to what financial would be your advice. first investment? Go ahead, teach him. I'd buy a house and probably rent it out. Maybe renovate it, fix and flip. Go ahead, to teach him. He needs some help. Money wise, I think I've said this nearly every. Well, podcast. you're you're also you're so cheap. Like I'm just saying, you're cheap. Cheap as fuck. I am. I'm you're frugal. Cheap, you're cheaper than him. Insanely cheap. Yeah. Like spend a little bit and have fun with it. You don't have to spend everything. I have fun being cheap. I have a great time. She's cheap, dude. I know. I feel like even like a dinner, like Uber home, send me a Venmo, split it up. Cheap. No. Yeah. I, like I, that's I, wild. Wait, what do you mean? Have you ever bought Brad lunch? Yes. Okay. No, I'm not cheap like that. Like with my friends, I'm not cheap, but I'm cheap in the aspect that I'm not going to go buy like a purse or anything like nice necessarily. But you're not into that. Yeah, I'm not into that. But I I'm could saying, never like, see you carrying. If I saw you carrying a purse, I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I don't carry. I've yeah, I it's don't, not your thing. I don't carry bags. Literally, I just dep I'm dependent on the place having Apple Pay. I don't even carry a wallet. Damn, that's what about me. like that's my buy like a real. football, like a nice football? I mean, you'll throw it. <laughs> throw it. <laughs> I know. He, last podcast, he said he'll people buy love me, that. Buy me a mitt. Well, yeah, I don't know. You guys are gonna play cash. If you were to buy me a gift, what would you buy me? <sighs> like a tool belt. <laughs> oh, holy fuck. Dude, well, I was I want thinking exactly that. Well, I want something she's going to use, bro. That's a joke. I was thinking exactly that. I don't that want something that's going to collect dust. Definitely that not a nice Chanel really bag that's going to collect dust. I want tool. You're going to get to work. Thank no you. no apron, no cooking utensils for sure. Not. No. Nah. Can you yeah. cook? Yeah, I can. My specialty is. Do you do that, though? Salmon and you rice. You cook and yeah. play with your cats? Yes. How old are the cats? Are they old? No, like two and seven. The names? Lupita and Ocean. Said that earlier. Lupita and Ocean. Ugh, cats are freaking you out. You have a cat though. I don't have a cat. You, you could if have. You unless had, it was like an exotic. They have, have some of those like exotic ones. Yeah. I know. Oh, we were talking about the big. Ass, there's a big They're ass. They're scary What's it though, again? bro. Said it was a bangle. No. Oh, Savannah. Yeah, it's something Yo, like that. Bangles are. Fucking, Not a bangle. You can't own a bangle. Cerevel, Cerevel cat. It's a big ass cat. If it's a like guy. A if a like, guy, what about like a lynx? Like I'd have a lynx. If a guy and I hit it off. Like, you know, pretty well, whatever. And then he told me he has a cat. He'd get bumped up from an eight to a ten. I feel like well, cat yeah, because guys, he's probably not having sex. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's hear where like, she's going. With no, but like, there are actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to take that statement back because I there are some exotic looking cats and I know people that have them and they're actually really cool. No, they're cool. But let's go. But they're fucking those those exotic ones like the Sphinx or what are they called? Oh, I like those ones. The they're hairless ones. They're scary, bro. I love the hairless Like, ones. I don't think they're like. Have you seen a several cat? No. They're like this big. They're like cheetahs. Yeah. You know I don't want that in my house. You know who is a cat guy? Trevor Wallace. He's probably a really good guy. Hold on. Where were you going hilarious. with this cat guy? I'm I was saying that if a guy, you know, like we hit it off, whatever, he's like a seven or an eight. Okay. If he has a cat, he's an automatic ten. Okay, well how like But like if you're a three, you don't go to a ten. Like if you're a three, you go to a five or six. What if he has a dog? That's he stays fine. The That's same. neutral. Yeah. Why does a cat make a dog? Like because I feel fish. like cat guys are so nice and genuine and soft. And How? Because like they like cats. What? Trevor Wallace. I, I don't know. I don't know. Trevor Wallace is a cat guy. Yeah, but like, why do you think they're kind and genuine? How do you know that? Cat? I saw him. You know that. You know that girl that does the running podcasts. Like I'm here with Trevor Wallace today. We're running four miles. Like I'll get him a pair of shoes if he like. They finishes. do a podcast while running. Running, yeah. Just, that's funny. Jesus, people are getting. <clears throat> this creative. girl's amazing. Falling behind, bro. No, this girl is amazing that does these podcasts, and she Start had Trevor. We should do a lifting pod. And she did it with Trevor, and Trevor said like, "I'm a cat guy." I was like, "Is he like? <laughs> you kind of no, out of breath?" No, he was. He was fine. He's good at cardio, I guess. Oh, I would be like, "Fuck," I'm trying to answer those. Question. So, but you did not explain why a cat. You said because, said, dude, it's a personality. Being a cat yes, guy is like a, a culture. Yes, yes, yes. It's a personality trait. So he's a pussy. No, <laughs> like well, I'm just trying That's, to figure this out. See, wow. No, I'm not saying if he, he he's has a, a dog. genuine good guy. Maybe. Yeah, yes. How? How does the cat determine that? Steiny, are you a cat person? Would you ever own a cat? Yeah, I could have a cat. I'd and no dogs. And no dogs. No, no. Okay, so no. 
No. See, you're an asshole. So if you could just have a cat no, and no dogs, you're dogs. probably a nice guy. He can have dogs, but yeah, cats, the cats. No guy I feel like is going to be like intimidating when they when you walk into their house and they have a little cat, right? I don't need him to be intimidating. Oh. You got to have these like big ass pits. You're like, hey, this shit. is my cat. It's like, meow. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you're like, that's so oh. Cute. That could go so many different so ways cute, if you so have a cute. girl over and like you just have a little cat in there. I like, probably, I don't think everyone would be into that. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Fine, whatever. I'll just. I don't know, man. I just never heard anyone say a cat made someone like better. All right, should we milk Sarah's cats and get out of here, or what? Let's milk her cats. What does that even mean? I don't know. I need some milk. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck, dude? That's his second I time I need doing some milk. That. Bro, what are you okay. saying? I'm, in, I'm getting into character, bro. You can't call me your son get and shit on character. here, and I can't talk to my mom. Bro. I resign as your mother. Okay, fine. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some bread. You want some money? Need some money. I have lunch, some money. bro. I got some money. I right, got some cash for you. All right, can you buy me lunch? Yeah. Okay. Lit. He actually wants Chipotle. Yeah, let's go. Are you guys going to the gym? Yeah, I'm going. You going? What do you? Oh, you got other yeah, shit. Yeah, I have something to do. What do you have to do? I have something to do. What do you have to do? Shit. Personal shit. Don't worry about personal. it. Don't be worried about do? it. Don't be worried about Please shit. Stop. Oh, the fuck? What is it? I'll tell you off camera. Oh, okay, I don't know. You just said it. I was like, is it something serious? No, nah, you need to be more respectful to your wife. Yeah, is it serious? you be nice. No, it's not serious. Oh, it's just sh things to do. Okay. I wonder who I'd side with in a divorce. Probably go with Sarah. You'd side with her in a yeah, divorce? Yeah. Against me. Yeah. Wow. That's fucking crazy, dude. Does that mean? No, I'm fucking with you. I'd always go with him. Uh, right. I, I, oh, I don't know if I'd talk to you ever again on some real shit. Really? Yeah. Damn. That's if he, that's crazy. That's how loyal I am. So that's don't ever crazy. put some disrespect on my name again. I never disrespected you, but that's this is such a hypothetical situation. That's yeah, crazy. and I already know who I'm taking sides with. I don't understand. Don't play with me with that fake shit. What the Yo! Fuck? You'd probably be the unloyal one, too. <gasps> That's crazy. All this asexual crap. Well, She's not even asexual. Yes. <laughs> Are you though? <laughs> but she is a woman though, so it's. But what do you do when like a guy is. hits you up and they're like trying to proceed? Do you like say, "Hey, Guys by the way"? Guys don't hit me up like that. No. Nah. You're so confused. You can look. I hit That's you up bullshit. like that. I hit you up like that six months ago. <laughs> like he's trying. <laughs> crazy shit. Um. Thank you guys for having me here. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um. Every Thursday, eleven, right? Yeah, Thursdays Day at eleven. About it. Give or take a few minutes. Um, but we love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Steiny, for being on. You were anytime. a great, Anything great guest. for either of you anytime. Amazing. Yeah. What Amazing a guy. guest. What a guy. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Okay. Thank Just you. Just really good. Best you've had? You haven't had that many. I have to be the best. What the Anyways, fuck? guys. Um, see you next week. See you next week.